Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do something very special. Today we are reviewing Tower 28's Beauty Lip Glosses in the jelly formulation as well as the milky formulation. So the great thing about Tower 28 is that it's all-inclusive, it's for everyone to enjoy, and it is specifically designed for sensitive skin. So we're reviewing the Shine On Jelly Lip Gloss as well as the Milky Lip Gloss. I find the formulas both to be just phenomenal and extremely moisturizing. Some of the highlighted ingredients are raspberry seed oil, which protects against damage from free radicals and environmental stressors, rose hip oil that contains vitamin A and E, and it promotes cell repair and regeneration. Also, apricot kernel oil, and that nurtures and soothes the lips. So first we're going to check out the Shine On Jelly Lip Glosses, and here's magic. That's good eating. You see that pretty shimmer? And there's magic. Now let's check out magic in indoor lighting as well as outdoor lighting. Now this one is my favorite one. This is what even got me to purchase anything from Tower 28. It's so beautiful. It's the Fire Hue and this is a sheer orange. So here's the applicator, just a doe foot. And then I do like the packaging. You know, I've had this for a bit and the font is still on. It's like a, what is this, a lucite or ac acrylic packaging? I like it. It tastes like, you know what it smells like? It smells like when you have like a, not an ice cream, but a popsicle. It kind of reminds me of that. This like scent reminds me of the wood and then all the sugar and the artificial flavors that seep into the wood and you kind of chew on. Well, okay, this is getting weird, but it reminds me of a stick of a popsicle. That's where the smell is taking me. It's not overly cloying. Mmm, it's really soft. Oh God, I love this hue. So now let's check out fire in indoor lighting as well as outdoor lighting. The sun's going down, so I'm just gonna make sure to get any type of sun, whether diffused by window. We're gonna get sun for these hues for you guys. So next is going to be the sheer pink. Yeah. It does remind me of a popsicle stick, the smell. It's just very pretty. God, it does feel really good. This lip move round is special. I, I like this one a lot. Now, next we're gonna try the shade Spicy. So this is a very, it's not really translucent. <laughs> so unlike the other hues, which are more on the sheer side, but still, you know, giving a little bit of color, this one is totally like, bam, red. <laughs> so I think it's an excellent topper if you have like a overly drying matte lipstick. So here's Spicy. So number five is Fearless, and that's going to be a sheer berry. Mm. So I need to use this more. It's actually quite gorgeous. Mm. 
So here are the Milky shades, and this is the Milky formula, and I really like them. They perform just as well as the Jelly formula, so I just like these because they're a little moodier. You can do a little more with them with, you know, well, maybe you can still do a lot with the Jelly O's, but I like how just the milkiness and how you can add a lip liner, make it dramatic, make it more feminine. Um, I feel like with the Jelly O's, I definitely use for when I work out because it's so quick to put on. The emollients is awesome, super moisturizing. With this one, I think this is more like my everyday or even date night kind of lip. Especially if I have a drier red formula, you can still add coconut. If you have a drier kind of brown, even mauve, honey, sky's the limit. They're awesome. They're awesome, sky's the limit. All right, so oat. So same packaging, awesome, relaxed, modern, to the point, cool. I don't know, I think the Milky formula feels even better going on the lips. So here's Oat. Mm. Ooh, that lip move round, chef's kiss. It's amazing, it's so good. I love it. So next is going to be coconut. It's very pretty. I love this color. All right, and next is going to be almond. I didn't think I would like this because it's a brown hue and usually I kind of stay away from browns if it doesn't have pink undertones, but this one's awesome. Mmm. It feels so good going on. Mmm. Both formulas are awesome. For me, the milky ones are softer. That's just what I think. That's how I feel. They're gorgeous. And I can do more with them. And last but not least is cashew. And that's another one where I was like, brown, hmm, I don't know. But you know what? I know now it's the bomb. And I'm very stoked that I bought it. Ah, oh, God. It feels like I'm putting chocolate on my lips. It feels incredible. It's so soft. Ah. Oh, it's just liquid chocolatey emollients. So here are all the swatches in outdoor lighting. And from top to bottom, there's Magic on the top, Fires next, XOXO, Spicy, Fearless, Oat, Coconut, Almond, and Cashew. And here are all the swatches in indoor lighting.
I have put these on my lips, like I've taken them off, put them on my lips about nine times and my lips are not dry and they're not giving me hell because usually when I do this and if it's lipsticks, my lips get dry. So these are pretty cool. <laughs> they're very moisturizing. Their promise that they're moisturizing is true. If you own these, which one's your favorite one? And what do you like to do with it? I like to add it to lipsticks as a topper, as well as add a lip liner with the milky formula to give it a little more kind of drama. I hope this helps if you guys are on the fence of either purchasing the jelly or the milky formula from Tower 28 in their lip gloss collections. I love them both. That's why I got them all except the clear one. Um, I really love them and I'm happy that I was like, let me grab the milky ones as well because I had such a great experience with the jelly formula. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay in touch. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Bye.